My research will mainly focusing on the modern uh, microprocessor design that uh, we try to enhance the capability of uh, the modern hardware when they execute user programs. And uh, how, how can I achieve that? So what we want is uh, build uh, smart and intelligent mechanisms that can uh, increase the intelligence level of the hardware itself. So for some of the works is simulation based. So what we do is uh, we simulate the, uh, the behavior of the microprocessor and uh, add the enhanced capability to that so that uh, without fabricating a real processor, we can still get a pretty good knowledge. This lab is the computer architecture and uh, microprocessor engineering lab. We have a group of uh, undergrad and graduate students that are performing research. So several of the key uh, areas they're working on is uh, multi-core, multi-threading, microprocessor design, and uh, the interaction between the operating system and uh, the uh, hardware architecture itself and uh, uh, hardware acceleration techniques for scientific computation and uh, uh, heterogeneous computing paradigm research. Cloud computing is also a big topic, so we, fo uh, we focus on the hardware and software interaction component of c cloud computing in terms of uh, how do we better manage the virtual machines that run in the cloud uh, that uh, f also f with, the f with the hardware support. Nowadays, uh, Nowadays, I see it's a unique time because you cannot just say I only have uh, software knowledge and I only write in my programs. I don't care about hardware. You cannot see that anymore because uh, uh, the hardware become, becomes more and more complex. You know, traditionally, you rely on writing a program that lets the compiler just compile a beautiful code for you that will achieve uh, uh, excellent performance that uh, is no longer happening. So, in, in this era, what you need with all these different, well, with all these things happening, with all these different computing elements uh, out of there, for, for a student uh, that you, when you, when you're thinking what you need to learn when you go to your, your future career path, you have to have a very solid uh, knowledge about the underlying hardware.